Hey everybody, it's Becky. How are you today? I'm um, just doing a little check-in. I'm home from my weekend getaway and wanted to show you guys how I have progressed on my painting. Um, I finished off the pond here and this little duck. Um, I also got up to the duck in question. And as you can see, I've made some changes to him. Um, I went ahead and used more grays rather than that like really tealy blue color that was around him. Um, so what I did was I changed out to a combination of letter Y and the percent sign. So color 646 and 3787. Um, so I did um, a little darker around his head and his belly and a little bit lighter on his back and kind of bottom of the wing. Um, and that kind of took away that like um, radiation look, I feel. Um, I also went ahead and gave him a little orange beak. Um, as I was looking, uh, I pulled up the original image that is on the Chuck Penson website to look and see what that looked like originally in his painting. Um, I don't know if it was actually a baby duck or baby goose. Um, as as I'm pointing to something you can't see. Give me just a second. Oop, here's a goose. And over here at the edge, there's another goose. And coloring wise, it kind of reminded me of a little baby goose, um, but it was still like grays and browns. Uh, but I did take out, um, in this area, there was more brown. I took it out um, just to kind of give him a little bit more different coloration. I'm still not 100% happy with him, but at least he doesn't look like he has radiation um, poisoning or something like that. So anyways, that's where I'm at for tonight. And it's probably near one in the morning. So I'm not gonna stay on for too terribly long, but did wanna give you that update. Um, so in relation, uh, if you have the canvas and wanna know kind of where I'm at, um, up from the bottom, I'm up to line 29 on the key here, um, starting into line 28. So I do still have quite a ways to go, but this got into more confetti than what I wanted to deal with tonight. Uh, but I did want to figure out what I wanted to do with the little duckling there. So duckling, gosling, whatever ing he is, um, I wanted to go ahead and take care of that. Oops, got a weird drill in here. Which one is it? So I'm kind of wondering if the drill quality on this is because this is an older canvas. I know Diamond Art Club has kind of changed out their drills a bit over the years. If you see, are we focused? I don't think I've got quite enough light on there. Anyways, if you kind of, if you can see down here at the bottom, there's like a little tab on that. Um, again, I'm, I don't know if the, the drill quality has changed uh, since this canvas came out, since it is an older canvas. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that the other Diamond Art Club ones that I have, um, you know, since they are newer canvases, maybe they've got better quality drills in them. Um, because if you can see, you know, on a lot of these there is, there's a better look at my little duckling there. Um, I feel like there is a lot of gapping in person that you may not be able to see on camera, but like right there's like a big old gap. And some of these I can change out to a different drill and it looks better. Um, but there's still a lot that I'm not, you know, I'm still throwing out a lot of drills. I'll show you guys once I get the painting completed because most of the bad drills I just throw down in my suitcase. Um, and so I go through and, um, at the end I'll, I'll kind of scoop them all together and show you what my total trash was and kind of go from there. Um, 
but yeah, I, I'm still very, very happy with the overall look of painting, and I think I'm really going to enjoy it once it's um, mounted and hung. I think what I'm going to do on this one is go to like Michael's or um, one of the other big craft stores that does framing, like custom framing, and I know Michael's almost always has, um, and Hobby Lobby as well, almost always have some good coupons on framing, and so what I'll do is I'll see um, about getting it put on stretcher bars, and that way I can hang it here in my house and uh, have it to enjoy. Uh, and this, this may also, depending on how long it takes me to finish it and how long it takes for framing, um, I'm hoping I might even be able to put this one in our county fair. Um, if not, I've got several other completions that I can put in there instead. Um, I have no idea what's going on with my voice right now. I've been fine all day. Um, so who knows? Um, anyway, so a little catch up from my weekend. Me and my girlfriend had a fantastic time. We really enjoyed the play that we went to see. Um, I spent way too much money at the quilt shops for somebody who has not been wanting to quilt right now, but I got some really cool stuff that I'm hoping maybe we'll kind of jumpstart that desire again. Um, so you guys may see eventually some videos on some things that I'm working on again. Um, but I did post a little short in one of my favorite quilt shops. Um, the fabric span that you see is in one of their clearance rooms. That stuff is typically 30 to 40% off. And then um, I also showed a bunch of puzzles that they had stacked up. Um, I enjoy puzzles and all of those were quilting related. Um, I really think that any one of those would make a gorgeous diamond painting as well. But um, so that's, that's something that I enjoy doing in my spare time as well as, you know, quilting and diamond painting. So, um, and then I showed, um, during the intermission of our, um, of our program that we saw, our play that we saw, um, I did show, um, the, uh, set, the stage, um, of the, of the play, um, that, from spanning from one side to the other is a total of 300 foot, I believe they say, um, from one side of the stage to the other, but it actually wraps around in a horseshoe shape. So you've got, you know, probably more than, you've got probably 50% of it on at the front and then like 25% on each side, maybe a little bit higher percentages on each side. Um, maybe like a 30, 60, 30 split or something like that. Uh, but as the play is going on, you actually see characters in every one of those buildings throughout the show and parts of it take place, you know, right next to you where you're sitting. And then they, you know, the characters will, and animals, they do have live animals there as well, will like go up and down the aisles. It's very immersive. Um, my friend was just in absolute awe of the of the quality of the production um, she's seen you know several plays at uh, the high school that she works at and she thinks that they do really great plays and and she still thinks they do really great plays given you know their education and their budget and such um, but she was definitely shocked to see the production quality of this and she loved all of the costumes and of course the storyline she really loved and she really it really resonated with her um and so um, i'm so so thankful that i was able to take her to see that um and uh you know it just it was just a really enjoyable time i just got to look at something i need to look at this closer in the camera this duck head and this boat I'm sure you guys can see that that there's a little color overlap there anyways so um so yeah we definitely 
had a fantastic time and she's ready to go back and see more plays at this theater. Um, we just had a great time, did some shopping. Um, I don't know if other states do this or not, but I know, I know Oklahoma and Missouri for sure both do. Um, one weekend before our schools start back in session, they do a tax-free weekend um, where they just, they waive the, the taxes on any purchases of clothing and certain school supplies, like basic school supplies, I think is really what it is. Um, so of course I went clothes shopping this weekend. I got a couple of cute shirts because they were tax-free. Um, I looked at, I looked at some tennis shoes, didn't find any I liked, but, um, you know, we also, um, ate lots of really good food. Um, we had lunch Saturday at a place called McFarland's, which if you've ever been to Branson, I'm sure you've eaten at McFarland's. It's a very home style meal. She got pot roast with mashed potatoes and gravy and sweet potato fries. Uh, and I had ribs and cream corn and mashed potatoes. Um, and then we went after our show. It was very, very late. It was, it's like 10 30, 11 ish before you get out of there. And of course, all of the show traffic goes, you know, to different places to eat afterwards and grab, you know, just little bites to eat. Um, we went to a place called Cakes and Creams, it's a 50 style diner. Um, and we got, you know, just a, a light dinner because it had been quite a while since we had eaten. Um, and then today for lunch, we went to uh, Falls Creek Steaks and Catfish um, and had some delicious steak and baked potato. Um, and they're one of those restaurants that throw the hot rolls at you. Um, but this one, um, they, they're only like, a foot away from you when you throw when they throw it um, but um, other places I've been to that throw their hot rolls they'll they throw them from across the restaurant and they almost always get the person to catch it there are very few dropped rolls at some of these places it surprises me how many how many people are able to catch because they throw them so well um, so then we um, loaded up and headed home um we stopped in joplin missouri my friend had never really been through joplin and and known much about it um back in i believe it was 2011 there was a major tornado that went through there and wiped out a large portion of their um of their town um there were something like four thousand homes destroyed dozens and dozens of business like this tornado literally flattened their business district um and so she you know she looked at the pictures of the flattened um you know the aftermath of the of the um tornado path and then she went back I you know I drove her through that path and she was just amazed at how you know how new everything was because you know all of it is what now about 12 years old so um and you can you can definitely pick out like that building didn't get destroyed or didn't get flattened that building didn't get flattened but like everything else is like brand spanking new so um going through and showing her a little bit of the history of that little town Joplin Missouri um and then of course from there on home um moved her stuff back to her car so she could head home for the night and I came in and immediately started diamond painting so um that was our weekend in a nutshell I we really had a great time um uh, and she's you know she's really excited now to go back and do more shows you know she never you know had as much of a desire to see shows there because she hadn't you know, she didn't know what to expect and now that she knows more of what to expect from a show there she's like yes we'll go back and do more shows um so i'll get her to some of the music shows that i like and things like that and then of course you know as they change plays over at um over at sight and sound you know we'll do whatever comes next so 
Anyways, I am tired and apparently my voice is done with me. So I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a great night and we will talk to you guys later. Be sure to watch the shorts and see, you know, just a, a couple of little tiny highlights from my weekend. Um, and just give me a holler if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.